Welcome back, and hopefully you were able to complete the challenge and create the entire schedule from scratch using the model inside of Synchro. Now there are many ways to do this, in this video I'll just show how I would have done it. So first I'll start by creating some appearance profiles, so I'll go to Navigator, Appearance Profiles, and create one for concrete, type concrete, then create one for steel, and I'll just start with that. Now I do want to show these in my legend, so I'll click the show in legend box. And for concrete, let's make it orange and grow from, from left to right. And then let's do the same for steel. However, for steel, let's make it yellow and also grow from left to right. Now that I'm ready, I can pick an appearance profile, for example, concrete, and I can decide how I want to group my tasks. Now you can start with concrete and do all of the concrete, then steel and do all of the steel, or you can structure it in a way that you're starting with the pipe racks, finish that, and then the structure over here and finish that. I'm gonna start with the pipe racks, so I'll just type in pipe racks, and just give a rough estimate of how I want that to be. Maybe uh, 50 days or 40 days. I'll just type in 50. Then I'll click on that task, I'll go and I'll look at the foundations, for example. These are concrete, so I'll click on those. And then I'll click on the pipe rack over here. Then I'll click on the steel structure. And then I'll click on that over here. And maybe that's enough for now. Or also I can click on that over here. And then I can right click create tasks under selected tasks. However, you have to make sure the right task is selected, so I'll just make sure it's highlighted in yellow. Then right-click, Create Tasks under Selected Task, and click Yes. And you'll see it'll create tasks in the order I clicked on. I can just scrub the focus time to make sure this is happening correctly. Now, what I like to do is that I'll create a new appearance profile for that platform over here and set that to be transparent while the foundation activities are going on. So I can see without having to look from the bottom every time, I can see what's being worked on. So I'll right click on temporary add and call that uh, temp transp. And I do not want this to show in legend. I can keep the original color. However, I want it to be 70% transparent and I'll assign that platform to the foundations. So I'm using control shift A. And I shouldn't have used temporary, I should have used maintain. So I'm gonna change that over here. So now we see that while the activities are going, the platform goes transparent and maybe that's too much. So I'll change that to 55. And then I'll scrub the focus time through the Gantt chart and we can see what's going on. Now these last three activities are actually steel activities. So I'll select those, right click, select assign two tasks, and then change from task properties under resource, change the appearance profile to steel. And let's see how our project looks now. So we have the foundations, then the pipe rack, then the steel part, and then the steel structure, and then the appended structure. And let's add the air coolers. So for the air coolers, I'm gonna use install, and then I'll just create an activity called uh, place or just call it air coolers and give that a uh, 20 days, 20 day duration and then just click on those in the order I want them to be placed. And then right click, create that first select the task of course, then right click create tasks under selected task, and yes. So now we can scrub through this and see that they're popping up in the order I want. However, the first one starts popping up in our uh, model way before the structure that supports it does. So I can find that structure just by scrubbing through the focus time. There it is. I'm gonna click on that, right? I'm gonna click on that. By the way, these should have been like that by default. And I'll explain what those are in a later video. So I'll just right click, 
select assign two tasks, find that task, then click on the first air cooler activity, control L for link, and then go to plan or just use F9 and reschedule. So let's see what happens now. You have this steel structure for the air coolers and right afterwards you're placing the air coolers while at the same time building the appended structure in yellow. Now this may or not may not be a conflict, we'll worry about that later. So let's see what we have so far. We just have this structure and then this tank left. So let's start with a structure so I can collapse those and then maybe air cooler and pipe racks uh, are part of the same thing, so I can use Control i to add a task above and call this uh, pipe rack uh, package and then use these two activities and indent them using the Alt-Right shortcut. Now that I'm here, I can type uh, main structure And this will be kind of a long video because we're showing the whole thing. Maybe give that 50 days. And then I'll use concrete. And then use the foundation first. And then that structure over here. And then the steel here. Um, maybe that structure over there. And then the structure over here. And then also the enclosure over here now we can see when I selected these three the resources number didn't add up which means they belong to the same resource so I'll just also select that tower over here and the tower over here and this one over there. You only need one element from each resource. And then select this, right click, create tasks under selected task. And let's see what we have. We have this, we forgot this steel structure. That's okay, we'll add that. So we have the foundations and then this structure. Now this structure over here, I think should be the same task as this one, so I'll just add that using Control shift a And these should probably grow from bottom to top. I can change that later. For now, we'll keep it as is. Then we have that steel. From here on, everything should be steel. So I'm just going to uh, change the appearance profile by right-click, select Assigned Resource, and then change that to steel. However, the steel here should probably grow from bottom to top. So I'll create a duplicate, <clears throat> call that steel BT, and I'm not going to show that in legend, we only need to show one in our legend, and then choose bottom to top, and then choose that over here. So let's see how that works. We have the concrete, that's good, the main structure, then we have the access stairs, access stairs, now, the access stairs can be built in one task, so I'll just dissolve that activity. Now, dissolve means you're deleting the activity, but you're stitching together the predecessors and successor links. So I'll just right-click and dissolve over here. And then I'll rename that as access stairs 1 and 2. And then, of course, reschedule. And let's see how this goes. So main structure, then access stairs. We deleted the activity. However, we didn't reassign this. So I'll just choose that and reassign it to that activity. Control shift A. And then we have the main structure closing. That's good. And then here we should have had the steel tower three. So I'll just rename that as steel tower three. I accidentally clicked on the cutting tool. I'm gonna right click, unassign everything from this one. And then, <clears throat> and then assign this over here. 
So we have the steel tower, three, two, one. I'll change that to five days so that we're consistent. And we're good. So we're, we still, we're still missing those tanks and the cutting tools. So I can create a task here called tanks. Make that a 70 or 35 day activity and then just click on one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then right click, we're gonna use install for that. So install, right click, create tasks under selected task. And for tank six, it's gonna have to come after the main structure, but before the main structure closing. So we're gonna click on main structure, on tank six, control L, then we're going to click on tank one and then main structure closing, control L and then reschedule. So let's see how that turns out. We'll have the main structure over here. Then we'll have the access stairs while at the same time we're placing in the tanks. Then once the tanks are all placed, you have the steel closing at the same time with this tank over there and then the towers come up so that's that looks good for now let's see what else is missing we can go all the way back in the schedule and see what's left we have this steel structure over here this girder and these cutting tools so we can collapse tanks we can collapse main structure use cutting tools Make that a 10 day activity and just click on one from each. However, I'm gonna use them two by two. So I'll click one, two, three and click on that over here. Right click, create tasks under a select task. Yes. And then for each one of these, I'm gonna add the other. And then we can rename these if we want to six and five and then four and three and then two and one. And we can make each of those a three day activity. Now, when do the cutting tools come in? They have to come in after the tanks. So I'll go to tank five has to come before cutting tool, six and five. So control L, tank three has to come before four and three, control L, and tank one has to come before two and one, control L, and then reschedule. And here we can see the two tasks, the cutting tool, and then the two tasks, the cutting tool. Actually, it's a cutting tool. Now that I look at the schedule, have to come after the towers. So I can unlink those or keep the link and add the link for the towers as well. So you have the tanks, you have the main structure, and then for steel tower one has to come up before this. So control L, then for two has to come before these, control L, for three has to come before these, control L, and then reschedule. So let's see what we have now. So steel tower three, and then we have the cutting tools that looks perfect. Going all the way back, we still have this structure and this girder. So where are we going to put these? So we can put these in the main structure or we can put here extra tank structure and then give that maybe 20 days and then just add the steel structure, this steel structure, actually this goes first, and then this, and then the girder, and then right click, select this of course, right click, create tasks, under selected task. Actually for the extra tank, we forgot the foundations first. So I'm gonna click the foundation, then this, then this, then that, and right click, create tasks under selected task. We're using install here, we can change that. So for the foundation, we're gonna use concrete. 
for the steel, we're going to use steel, so right click, select assigned resources. Let's use bottom to top. And let's see how we can link them with the tank. So for the steel, let's see what we have. For the tower tank foundations, we can start that whenever you want. For that steel structure and this one, we can also technically, no, actually we can't. So let's start those after the tanks. So we can go to tanks and go to tower tank and then to access stairs and steel tower and then control L and then reschedule, see what we have. This makes sense. Now we can move the tower tank foundations a little bit, but actually it does make sense to pour that while we're doing all of the foundations. I think this is a pretty good schedule. Now all we have to do is create an animation for it and we're done. However, we haven't learned how to do that yet, so we'll do that in a later video. Finally, let's uh, tidy up our schedule. So we have the extra tank structure, the cutting tools, the main structure. Um, these all fall under the main structure. So I can control I here and call that main structure package and then, whoops, misspelled package. And then I can just indent those and then this could be left as its own. Then I can add one task on top, so control I call this construction and then indent everything underneath so I'm gonna collapse this and indent those and we're done we have a 68 day schedule that we've created in synchro from scratch If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.